Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tonji and welcome to Kababayan Today, the only daily talk show for Filipino Americans here in North America. Of course, we air in Los Angeles and Hawaii, kaya nagpapasalamat po ako sa lahat ng kababayan namin na patuloy na sumasabaybay sa aming programa. At alam nyo naman, it's Wednesday, which means it's our midweek news updates from Asian Journal. Asian Journal, the Filipino-American community newspaper since 1991. Siyempre, hindi kumpleto ang Wednesday natin kung wala si Annie Nepomoceno, ang ating Los Angeles correspondent. I really look forward to seeing Aww. and talking to you every Wednesday, Annie. <laughs> oh, thank you, G. Oh, oh, regular ka na sa amin. I, well, I do sure hope so. <laughs> yes, of course. So, ano ang ating mga balita mula sa Asian Journal ngayong araw na ito? Ako, ito ang ating mga pag-uusapan. Another immigration setback, a federal appeals court rejected the Obama administration's bid on Tuesday, May 26, to lift a temporary hold on the president's executive actions on immigration. With a two-to-one vote, the, five, the Fifth Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals denied an emergency stay on an injunction imposed by U.S. District Court Judge Andrew Hainan of Brownsville, Texas, on February 16, following a lawsuit filed by Texas and 25 other states that asserted that the president's plans are unconstitutional. Last November, President Barack Obama announced a series of actions slated to protect nearly 5 million undocumented immigrants living in the United States from deportation in response to years of inaction by Congress. The expansion of the Deferred Action of Childhood Arrivals, or the DACA program, was scheduled to take effect on February 18, while Deferred Action for Parental Accountability, or DAPA, was created out uh, carried out on May 19. However, the DACA program in its original 2012 form remains intact and untouched by the injunction. The government has not announced its next steps, either to appeal to the entire appeals court or to the Supreme Court. Though the 26 states are pushing for the plans to not take effect, 14 states and the District of Columbia are promoting the economic benefits of an expanded immigration system. All right. Every first of the month on Tuesday, we have our lawyers from Aquino and Lowe that are here to give advice. Marami pong tumatawag pagdating sa immigration dahil napakarami pong apektado nito. That's true. I'm sure marami silang tanong, lalo na ngayong hindi rin pa sila nagkakasundo-sundo sa gobyerno. Oo, kasi it's very unsure at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, nobody really knows what's going on. So please, I invite everybody to call us next Tuesday. Live po kami dito sa Kababayan today. Unfortunately po, hindi po tayo abo sa Hawaii, but uh, I encourage you to write us at kababayan at la18.tv for your questions about immigration. And on to our next topic. Yes, our next story. China announces lighthouse construction in Spratlys amid rising tension in the region. Not even the United States can stop China from its aggressive expansion in the Spratlys as it announced the construction of two lighthouses in the disputed territory. Chinese state media Xinhua on Tuesday, May 26, announced the groundbreaking ceremony of the two new installations on the man-made islands built by China in the contested portion of the South China Sea. China's Ministry of Transport confirmed that the lighthouses will be built on Quarteron or Calderon and Johnson South or Mabini Reef. Standing 50 meters high with a diameter of 4.5 meters and a light range of 22 nautical miles, the lighthouses will provide efficient navigation service. Last week, the United States flew a surveillance plane thousands of feet above the airspace of the artificial islands created by China and received a warning by the Chinese Navy. The U.S. surveillance revealed how fast-paced the construction of China has been ever since the Philippines filed a strong case with the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. The International Court is expected to release a conclusion next year. Experts, however, believe China would not honor the decision of the court since the country has refused to take part in the case proceedings. This is very troubling indeed uh, because... You know, nagaagawan tayo ng land, di ba po? Mm -hmm. uh, kanino ba talaga ang Spratly Islands? Yun ang tanong ng mga Pilipino and Chinese alike. Mm -hmm. uh, I suggest if you want more information on this, Carlos Seldran, mm -hmm. actually, uh, he is a, well, 
uh, activist from the Philippines recorded, if you don't understand this issue, I suggest i-YouTube nyo po si Carlos Seldran about the Spratlys Island para maintindihan nyo talaga kung anong pinaglalaban ng Pilipino mm -hmm. dito. Yes, exactly. And now, some lighter news. LA Lakers rookie traces Filipino roots during Philippine visit. Filipino-American Jordan Clarkson of the Los Angeles Lakers felt the Filipino hospitality on Saturday, May 23, as he was welcomed with wild cheers of fans waiting for his arrival to celebrate the National Basketball Association or the NBA playoffs and to start an NBA CARES clinic for underprivileged kids. Clarkson met with 60 underprivileged kids from Tondo, Manila, who had the opportunity to engage in a short basketball clinic. For the Lakers player, his Filipino heritage means a lot. Clarkson said, it's kind of why I play. I don't play for myself anymore. I play for us, my family, and my teammates. It's great to have that. I love the support. Adding that given the opportunity, he would love to help the Philippine national team play better. That's such great news. Siyempre, Filipino pride, di ba? Pag nakakarinig tayo ng mga kwento na ganyan, talagang, uh -huh. ay, Pilipino ito, di ba? Nakaka-proud talaga. Tsaka hindi lang yung gusto pa niyang tumulong sa ating bansa by sharing his knowledge. Yes, diba? by going back and giving back, rather, mm -hmm. exactly. to uh, underprivileged children. Annie, we always look forward to you coming and visiting us. I know that next week you're going to be in New York, pero wag po kayo mag-alala dahil makakausap pa rin natin si Annie mula sa New York. Yes, if there's a will, there's a way. Ayon. Okay, maraming salamat for coming uh, here you. today in behalf of Asian Journal. Of course, you can follow all the stories on AsianJournal.com. Uh, you have the complete details there. Basahin niyo po lahat ng mga relevant topics to the Filipino community um, online. Yeah, so they are there for our disposal. Uh, kaya, please, if you want more information, go to the website. All right? And Annie, once again, thank you. At magbabalik po kami dito sa Kababayan Today, the only daily talk show for Filipino Americans. Salamat po.